Inside this metal spheroid covered with beams and high-tech magnets, scientists are hoping to achieve something that sounds impossible, create a star on Earth, essentially in a bottle. We are beginning a new experiment. It's called NSTXU, the National Spherical Taurus Experiment Upgrade. And it's gonna push us ever closer to the scientific regime in which we can generate fusion power. We got a sneak peek on a tour at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory. Simply put, fusion energy is the process that powers the sun and stars through a collision of ions, which creates plasma. This experiment will study changes to how fusion happens. One takes a plasma, heats it to 100 million degrees and bends it into the shape of a donut. So it's like a star in the shape of a donut. What we're studying here is more like an apple with the core taken out, so it's more compact. And that means that the steps toward fusion could be faster and somewhat less expensive. It took four years and $94 million to build this upgrade. The experiment originally began 15 years ago. The magnets here are 20,000 times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. This facility is the most powerful of its kind on Earth. There are only 10 major fusion machines around the world. We think fusion could be a very important energy source for the future. Eventually we want to use the energy that comes out of these fusion reactions, much like comes out of the sun, to convert heat into electricity. It is clean and green, no contribution to greenhouse gases. It will be essentially inexhaustible. It is safe and it should be available to all nations. But that reality is still decades away. Building a fusion plant is expensive and complicated. Funding for the NSTXU and the lab comes from the U.S. Department of Energy. We must support across the board the portfolio of technologies that can lead us to that deep electricity decarbonization. A breakthrough in this space uh, will deal with the challenges we have with global warming, uh, with the carbon being spewed into our air, with the suffering of populations. A coalition of 20 countries, the U.S. included, is committed to doubling the energy technology innovation budget over the next five years. That's good news for researchers whose work can often take a lifetime to see tangible results and ensures the possibilities of their work will get a seat at the table. In Princeton, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.